Dwight, what's that? This is a mystery, and I'm going to solve it if that's quite all right with you. Looks like a suspicious package to me. Well, that's obvious. Any third rate gumshoe could deduce that. Or how about a volunteer sheriff's deputy? Mock me if you will, Jim, but as volunteer sheriff's deputy, I'm responsible for this potential crime scene. So step aside. At approximately 7.45 in the morning, I observed a single box full of looted artifacts abandoned on office property. I proceeded to follow standard investigative procedures. I cordoned off the crime scene, dusted for prints, swabbed for DNA, photographed and collected evidence. My police crime analysis unit handbook tells me that the next step is interviewing potential witnesses and persons of interest. Do you know what this is? Yes, it's an artifact. How do you know that? I'm an archaeologist. False! You work in an office. I'm a public archaeologist. Dwight thinks only real archaeologists wear whips and run from boulders. Just because we're working in an office doesn't mean we aren't archaeologists. I mean, come on, I'm an RPA. Where were you between the hours of 5 p.m. yesterday and 7.45 a.m. this morning? Thanks for asking. I headed to the mall after work, and on the way there, I stopped at a really cute boutique that just opened up, and I bought three pairs of boots, but I think I'm gonna have to return one pair because they're totally last season. And then after that, I stopped to get some coffee, but they didn't have any pumpkin spice latte, so instead I got- Enough! I know you did it, just admit it. Did what? Chapter 7, Section A, Number 3 of the Police Crime Analysis Unit Handbook states that liars will often use stalling tactics such as playing dumb or sharing too much information to evade questions. She's definitely a suspect. Here you go, Dwight. I thought this would aid in your investigation. Well, that's very professional, Jim. Agreed. Now, where were you last night? Zip it! I'm the one doing the investigation here. Fine, but if I were doing the investigation, it would already be solved. Doubtful. Did you check the security camera footage? Last week, I found a bunch of pottery shirts in my grandpa's attic. He died several years ago, so nobody knows where he got him. But, I mean, if anyone can solve this mystery, Dwight can. Theft of artifacts is not a joke, Jim! Millions of archaeological sites suffer every year! 